Would you like to take control of your notifications during set periods of time so you're not disturbed? I used to have this issue in the evenings before I would go to bed, I would turn my phone volume down to vibrate. And even the vibration on a phone can be quite irritating. Um, good news is Marshmallow has bolstered its notification muting with its enhanced do not disturb feature. It's really not that difficult to do, so let's get started. Before we get started, Android is constantly adding new features to the Android operating system. What I'll do is get a video up on YouTube as those new features are being released so you'll know about them before everybody else. If you haven't done so already, pause the video and click on that subscribe button. To get to the Do Not Disturb menu, you'll want to go into your settings menu. So scroll down from the top of your screen. Click on the settings icon. Go down to sound and notification, tap on that. Around the middle of your page, you should see a do not disturb. So tap on do not disturb. Then you'll see two different options. One that says priority only allows and then automatic rules. Tap into priority only allows. Currently, alarms is going to be automatically set to go off. So if you have uh, an alarm that wakes you up in the morning, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you can either turn reminders on or off, uh, events on or off, uh, messages none. So you're not getting any messages through the night. Those messages will still show up on your phone in the mornings. You're just not going to receive a, a loud notification about those. Uh, you can choose who you get calls from uh, during these periods. You can choose from anyone, from contacts only, from starred contacts only, or none. I currently have it set at from contacts only. And you can also change this option here for repeat callers. So if you have somebody that's not in your contacts that calls you up and you don't answer it or pick it up, if they call within a 15 minute, minute period after that, uh, the phone will actually ring. So that's kind of helpful in emergency situation, so on and so forth. I'll go back to the previous menu. You have automatic rules. I've actually already set up some rules uh, for weeknight. So let's say I work 11 p.m. Let's say I want to sleep from 11 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. the following morning, and I work Monday through Friday. I would actually want to set the days for Sunday through Thursday. So basically Sunday night through Thursday night and have those set. And you can pick a start time whichever you choose, and you pick an end time, whichever you choose. And right here, you can either turn it off or on. Once you turn it on, it'll constantly stay on. So each week, you don't have to keep turning it back on again, which is a useful feature. Go back to the previous screen. You'll see at the bottom of the page, it says add a rule. So let's say every Monday at your office, there's a um, a Monday meeting that you have between 9 a.m. and uh, 10 a.m. and you wanted to add a rule so your phone doesn't disturb you with notifications. So right here you could add a rule, name that rule work, make it a time rule, click OK, go down to days, tap into that, uncheck everything except for Monday, Go down to start time, make sure it's an AM, see the option for AM or PM there. Change it to 9 AM, and if your meeting generally gets over at 10 AM, but let's say your meeting runs long, you may want to change that to a different time. So we'll say like 10, 15, and then hit OK. And to start up that rule, just turn it on, and it's already automatically turned on here. And then turn it back on again. It's as simple as that. And you can have as many rules as you would like, and you can name your rules whatever you want, and for whatever times you want. So hopefully that feature helps you out. If you got something useful out of it, like it, and of course, subscribe to the video, and I'll make sure to get more tips to you here on Tech Gumbo.